I'm uh, Thomas Arkler, CEO and founder of KiteMill. Uh, now we are talking about the next generation wind power technology. Airborne wind is an energy technology that can make us capable of reach net zero in 2050. It can have a significant impact. And the way it's working is that the kite, see if the video runs. <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. The kites take off from the ground uh, like a helicopter. So these propellers running now is only in use during the takeoff and landing sequence. In operation, they are folded back. There was a small propeller in the nose. This one is running more of the time because it's keep the batteries on board charged. There is no conductors in the tether to the ground, but there is a tether to the ground, and that's how we transmit the, the energy. Uh, the kite is now transitioning over to um, uh, production uh, looping, crosswind flight, and now it's sweeping a large area, just like the tip of the wind turbine blade. And we're utilizing the lifting force, the wing conduct, to pull out this tether from a winch on the ground. So all the energy is produced on the ground in the winch. So we are doing this for 90% of the time. So in, in this flight, when it's less than a nominal wind, it's even longer in production. So now we are skipping this video 10 minutes in time and we can see the retraction because after pulling out 150 meter of tether, we have to reel it back in. And then we are tipping the nose of the kite towards the ground station and we can pull it back with very little force, as you can see here. There it's in the re retraction phase. And now it's ready to enter into a new production phase again. Uh, and we are producing power. This concept is working. We've proven it in smaller scale. Now we're proving it in 20 kilowatt scale. This wing is pulling equal to 700 kilo of uh, lifting force. And as you can see from the plot on the right here, our flights are very consistent. Uh, fully automatic. So what we are doing, we are handling the same power as a conventional wind turbine with less than 10% of the material. At the same time, we are reaching higher up, much higher than a 20 kilowatt wind turbine could reach, and we, we find better, stronger and more consistent wind, uh, consisting wind resources. Uh, this, of course, will lead to increased yield. So if we reach better resources, we produce more often and we achieve a higher capacity factor. And if we are removing 90% of the material, the investment cost will be reduced and we will get a very beneficial levelized cost of energy. As you can see from the plot there, we are looking at half of the levelized cost of conventional wind in the end. But of course, there is a barrier to overcome and this is what we are addressing now. The barrier is much smaller than what we have seen in previous energy production technology introductions, but uh, this is how we are going to address it. We have looked into four market segments. The first one is demonstration market, where we get incentives to demonstrate and enable airborne wind. And the two last market segments here is uh, utility scale niche markets, niche markets for offshore uh, repowering, where we can replace the old offshore wind turbines and use the foundation to demonstrate airborne wind in offshore environment. And the second one is to ride on the back of brand new conventional wind turbines and increase the customer's yield from existing wind farm projects. This niches is interesting because they consist of projects of 50 to more than 100 units in each project. But of course, to get an investment decision for one of these require a lot of operational experience. So our task now is to build up a pipeline of smaller projects so we can accumulate the operational experience we need to qualify for these utility scale niches. The team that is doing this is a team of 20 skilled engineers from seven nations. We are strongly backed up by industrial partners. Uh, and what we have achieved the past years to take conceptual choices that have become normative for the rest of the industry. Right now we are in a process of rolling up and 
and uh, consolidating the industry under uh, kite mill. Um, so um, tidying up the fields for you to invest in airborne wind. We also, we also see a very good third indicator now on airborne wind getting mature that the big international organizations like uh, EU and the International Energy Agency, US Department, United Nations is putting airborne wind higher and higher up on their agenda. So we have a, a scale up roadmap that leads to utility scale systems. Uh, EU Innovation Fund have awarded Kite Mail uh, a project of building 12 of the next version, that's a 100 kilowatt version, twice the wingspan of the one you see. And right now we need the fund to develop, finish the development of this unit. And for doing that, we have a budget of uh, uh, 130, no, sorry, 13 million euro, where we are needing 4 million uh, euro in equity. Uh, about half of this has already been signalized, so we are now looking for approximately 2 million euro. Uh, to discuss this, me and our CFO, Aska, will be at the Greenbacker stand, M60. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.